Welcome, and with me, we've got two ladies who put on a show, were both successful and both blew the roof off on Friday night up in Sheffield on the Unified Promotion Show. Um, Ticey Gallagher and Christina O'Hara McCafferty. How are you, ladies? All good, thank you. All good. All good. Brilliant. What about yourself? Yeah, I'm blinded. Thank you. I'm blind. I had a brilliant night Friday. Um, really enjoyed the show. You two and the other ladies and the men as well. It was exceptional. You were um, you put on a hell of a show. So well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good That's... to get going again. Like it's fact that the bill was the bill was phenomenal, and the all the fights like the the place was just electric. Really yeah. was. Yeah, it really yeah, was. It was. It was a wicked night. Wicked night of boxing. It was. We'll come on to your fights in a minute, but did you both get to take in the other fights that were going on? No, not until I got home and watched it back on TV. But other than that, you're just back in your changing rooms and what folks on yourself. To see, really. Yeah, yeah. I, I got to see um, Tessie's fight because she was on obviously last and I had been already changed and out of the ring and whatever. So I was able to get sitting down and watching that, watching her yeah, fight. Yeah. Lucky you. <laughs> You got you got out straight away, quick, and I had to wait and wait around. But, I know. but um, but yeah, yeah. Not until I got home and then I watched the fight. Yeah, back. I watched the whole bit when, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I did see you after your fight, Christina, coming back out and uh, walking around ringside and uh, saying hello to people. Um, Me, I was. <laughs> yeah, but it's great that you got to take in. You got to take in some of the occasion as well. Yeah, I got his nice just to get out of the ring, and especially with the win as well. You know, um, and just going around and saying hello to people and just make familiarizing myself as well as familiarizing other people with who I am. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So let's come on to your fights then. Um, we'll start with you, Christina. You fought first. We'll come on to your fight first. Um, professional debut. I think it's well documented to some degree your, your amateur background, um, highly successful amateur background. Frustration yeah. not getting to the Olympics. How much of that frustration did you take out on Friday night? I think it was more focused on just getting an end of the ring and just being prepared um, more than getting in and losing my head and my concentration on, you know, letting out my frustration. I feel like um, I was just so focused on the fight at hand. I wasn't, I was trying not to get overwhelmed with, you know, the, the frustration part of it. Um, but I was glad, I was completely glad to get in and be able to showcase some of my skills um, I feel I do feel I have a lot more to give. I mean, that's my first fight back in four years. Yeah. You know, it's a it's a really really long time to be out of the ring and having a baby, and you know, were, they were all like things that built up to that day. You know, so I was definitely just just excited. And after the fight, like the the feeling of overwhelmness, um, just to be in fighting again was was everything. It was amazing to get that buzz back. Yeah, was it quite an emotional experience, I'd imagine, of, as you say, the... Cry every day. <laughs> I definitely, it was very emotional. You know, when my amateur career was, it, it was it was really, really good career. Um, more towards the end, then it started to get really negative for me. So I didn't want to fight again. And then after I had my son, it was, it was like a new lease of life. You know, you know that... I know I was talented. I was told it my whole life. Um, and I just want to make my son proud and give him, you know, a good life, a good, comfortable life. And why not do it in something that you know that you're good at? So it took me, it took me maybe like two years, stop, start to get back into the swing of things because I genuinely didn't think. So it was more just the... It was just mad. It was just a hell of an experience. Yeah. Um, so I, it was very, very emotional. How did it differ from your your memories? Because it is four years ago, but your kind of amateur days. Um, I mean that both as an experience of a professional setup, but also going in yeah. there with you know small gloves and a professional fight. Yeah. Um, I think the transition from amateur to pro is very very different um there was a lot of things that i carried with me a lot of my attributes that i took with me from amateur to the professional um but there was also so many things that you had to be more careful of and more wary of you know the turn to the smaller gloves and 
um, the no headgear thing, they were they all played major factors in your training camp and being able to get sparring like with no no headgear and um, so we were very well prepared for it. You know. Yeah, and you looked it. it. I mean, it wasn't. It didn't look like somebody making their debut as a pro. Um, yeah. That's probably the biggest compliment I can give you. It was. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. It, it, it was. It, I felt. I knew building up that fight that I wasn't the same fighter. You know, my amateur career was was good, but I feel like my professional career will be outstanding. And what is it, I mean, aside from the obvious talent that you hold and, um, every, you know, it's brilliant to watch. You've got such fast hands and you're in and out of spaces so quickly. But yeah. what is it about the pro game that you think will suit you particularly well, like having now experienced it? I think I'm, I'm very smart. Um, I can read faders. I can read people. I can anticipate. You know, I think... Being able to have a good boxing brain is a big percentage of how your fight will go. You know, I feel like I'm pretty, I'm pretty flexible. I, I can adapt. You know, if you want me to box, I'll box. If you want me to fight, I'll stand and fight. You know, it just like Jared had always said to me. You know, you need to be able to fight inside a phone box. So if you're starting toe to toe and all you can do is move your upper body, you know, I'm good to go for that. But I'm also good to go for the, the, the boxing side of um, boxing too. So, I mean, you just, I think it's just more for me. Um, you just, I, I'm just pretty adaptable. I think you showed that on Friday night, that there were periods of it where you did just stand and put your feet down and say we're having it. Um, yeah. But she was tough, weren't she? She was tough. Yeah, the whole way through, like since we found out who uh, we were boxing, um, all we ever heard that she was a live wire, you know. So, I mean, you had to be prepared for anything, yeah. you know. Was she going to come out from the first bell and just go, go, go the whole fight? Or was she going to try, mix it up and stand off? And I feel like she went for option B. Um, I feel like she was quite standoffish until I brought it to her. And then she stood and traded with you, yeah. you know. But she was definitely tough. Like, she, she took some shots. Deeper, she took some some punches, like. Yeah, I feel like we could still be there now, and that fight might be ongoing because <laughs> she was made of brick. I'm sure. Um, yeah, well, she wasn't coming to get beat. That's for sure. No, no, and I say that's what made it so impressive on a debut mm -hmm. is that th these were proper fights. They were proper fights. Yeah. Um, and Ticey, we'll come on to yours. I mean, your second professional fight against somebody else who's undefeated. That was a proper fight, Gemma Rueg. Somebody else, I think if you'd have been there until today on Thursday, you'd still be fighting. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, it was a tough fight. It was a good fight. Um, obviously, going into it, both of us being 1-0, and oh, it's like a, got to make a bit of a statement, if you know what I mean. Because she, she wasn't just coming in there for the round. She was coming to win. Yeah. So, and that's, I knew that. I knew that before I even got in there. That's, she, you know, um, that it was going to be a tough fight. And it, and it sure was, like, even towards the end, I was hitting her with some big shots and she just kept coming forward. So Yeah, she wasn't going anywhere, was she? It was, yeah, she was going, oh, yeah. So. Credit to her for doing that as well, because she Definitely. gave you a tough night's work. But you handled it exceptionally. Um, and Christina, what did you make of Ticey's performance? Because you got to see Ticey. Unfortunately, Ticey never got to see yours. But um, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I, I thought that she was outstanding. Um, yeah. I mean, to be in, like, a bill... But, with other women who were so ferocious. Yes. Do you know what I mean? It 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 was an it was enlightening. Do you know, you go like, this is this is my team here. Like this is unbelievable. You Definitely, know? Yeah. We're, we're a good, good, solid team for sure. Yeah, I, I agree. Really It'll be great. I mean for Susanna and Richard to keep you all together, mm -hmm. adding Paige who was doing commentary duties. You've got Lauren yeah. on there as well. Um, you know, Lauren got the stoppage victory. She too was ferocious. I think that's a brilliant word for uh, for how you all came across. And yeah. for anyone doubting women's boxing, just go back and watch it. Just go back and watch it. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. The the bill was just the bill was phenomenal, and it was the the ladies definitely stole the show for sure. Yeah, and the matching was. I heard one of the comment a couple of commentators saying about the matching, and the matching was spot on because 
it was no oh, easy sure. fight. We all had to, we all had to really, really showcase our skills and be, be focused and be turned on because our opponents weren't, they weren't no mugs. They was coming, coming yeah. for it. You know what I mean? They were bringing it. Yeah, 100%. It's what Probably. you want. It's what you want. So then you can showcase, we, like, we was able to showcase our skills and, and I'm sure like you'd agree, Christina, like it, this is just the start. Like people haven't seen anything. You yeah, know, like, um, and that's what makes it so exciting as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's what I was saying about feeling like I have a lot more to give because I know, like, although on the night I gave it me all on the night, but I know that there's a lot more in me to give, you know? Exactly that. Yeah, and different types of opponents and as you step up through the levels, I'm sure you've got more that people haven't seen on Friday night. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do feel like with being out of the ring for so long, um, there was a few things that I have to go away now and, you know, get back to the drawing board and start again, basically. Um, Because the the first day that I was back in the gym after having baby and being out, that was, at the time, it was maybe two years out. I felt like a novice again. You know, you're slow and you're sluggish and your feet just won't work. (laughs) I I remember that feeling as well. your mind like you know it's coming but your your brain doesn't let you get out of the way quick enough and you're just kind of standing there and you can see everything coming and you go like I'm getting hit with these shots that I that I would be in and out five times before I would get hit with do you know but Definitely. it's all it's it all came together like over the last couple of years just sort of being um taking my time I'm not rushing wasn't rushing in um to get fit so quick I was just happy to be back at the gym you know what I mean after after the terrible last year that I had in boxing, um, the, after the Commonwealth Games, that should have been the start of my, um, like the really the start of my amateur career, you know. Um, and it just wasn't. It was the end of it. Do you know what I mean? Um, mm. The ins and outs the art I'll, I'll go into someday. Um, when, when I'm writing my book, when I'm a world champion. <laughs> yeah. We'll save that story, um, Christina. We'll save it. Um, but, you know, everything for a reason, etc. cetera. Um, and it led yeah. to Friday night and the opportunity to do it on a televised bill as well. How was that for you ladies? Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. There's not many people can say that they make your debut on live TV, especially on a card like that too. You know? Yeah, yeah it was wicked. It was a wicked, op- a wicked opportunity to, to box on, on TV and, and yeah. showcase it already just obviously on my second fight. It was... At the time, I was thinking, oh, what, what am I going to be like on TV, getting, like, thinking about it? But then, like, until afterwards, you're like, gee, God, that's on TV. That's on TV, like. Are we getting a dodgy reception but, um, of you there, Tyson? I'm watching myself back on TV. <laughs> um, so it was good. Your reception's dropping in and out, Tyson. So apologies, I did miss some of that. Um yeah, how was it um, then having to go and do like interviews and things after? And again, it's a whole new world of having to do that side of it and, and the interviews before and the video pieces that were put together. Is that a little bit draining in terms of preparation and, you know, the mental side? Um, I don't know. I, I just try not to focus too much on um, the things that are that are not in the boxing gym, you know, I'll always try my best like to make time, but to, to do them things, obviously you have to, if you want to get your name out there and, you know, you want to, you want to build up your, your character and, you know, your, your profile too, essentially. Yeah. Um, so it, it was, it was so different, like doing interviews with people and, um, you know, actually getting a good bit of PR for a change was, was big for me because it wasn't something that I ever really had. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a good opportunity. It was kind of, it was for me. Good opportunity to showcase who you are. Yeah, 100%. And we got you back, Ticey, hopefully. Your, your reception's uh, playing up. Might have yeah, my reception's not that good. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, no, it didn't really drain any energy from me. Because the way I see it, I'll just be myself. And I can't like all the interviews, and, but I'm not supposed to be. I'm there to box, and I'm just, I'll be myself. I'll get asked the questions, and uh, I'm honest. And I take it all in 
my stride really it's all part of, it's all part of the journey it's enjoyable yeah what do you ladies like see what do you ladies see being the next steps then with unified actually i spoke with Susanna schofield this morning she's out in sunny portugal while i'm sat with my heating on in england um she is working i promise you um are you on a sea bale first is it bad <laughs> um but, yeah she's you know she's speaking with lots of organizations that are interested in what happened on friday night in terms of the broadcast the show the fights the whole package that comes with it i know she's <laughs> looking at getting a show on early in 2022 um no dates as yet but what would be an ideal scenario for you ladies um i i leave that up to my team um to, to work out the logistics of fight nights and things like that so once once they um sit down with the team and talk it over with emmons you know um, we can sort of see take it from her, really. But do you feel fresh, no injuries, the hands are all right? Fresh, fresh, ready to go. And how about you, Tyson? Ready to go back, back again. I know Tony Pill's got you back in the gym yeah. already, Ty, so you need to tell him to take it easy on you. Well, Tony told me to have, have the week off, but I couldn't help myself. I had to go back in the gym yesterday. Yeah, it's good to do it when you're feeling fresh, uh, too. You know, when you're not, you're not kind yeah, of dreading it. Yeah. That week, that week off and going back the next yeah, day exactly. after the week. Um, yeah, back in the gym last day too. But no, I'm, I'm the same really. I um, I leave it down to Tony. He like with more fights and stuff. Um, but for 2022, I'm just looking to be as busy as I can as I can be and get gain as much experience and just build myself, build my career up. Um, yeah. But yeah. And I think it's it's quite well documented that women's boxing has a smaller kind of volume of numbers than, say, the male side. So the opportunities open up quicker, um, potentially, yeah. than male counterparts. And would you be ready, I'm not saying for next fights, but in 2022, would be the, the idea be to be ready, hopefully, to capitalise on some of those opportunities that, that might start opening up? Yeah, I think um, you just got to be prepared for it all. You know, and... You could be you could be training for like I know pro boxers who train for a full year and, and before that they get an actual fight date, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just having that mentality of being ready constantly. Like you could get a phone call next week to say, Right, you're in here in two weeks. So and then panic stations start because you're not prepared for it, you know. But it's all about just just being ready for the phone call. Definitely ready for any opportunity to arise. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Hopefully they'll open up on unified promotions for next year. I know Susanna has got her enthusiasm for it, but I think Friday night's given her a bit of a bug for... Uh... Yeah, yeah. And I think, you know, there's there's a lot of stress that goes into it in advance, and especially when your first show is a televised event. You've got all the production side of things to consider, as well as getting you ladies into the ring and fighting. <laughs> there's an awful lot. It's very stressful for them, but Listen, they put it all together on the night, and it, the, the night was absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> for me, be, like for it being my first, um, my first pro experience, I had a I had a very positive experience. Nice with it, and I can happily say that everything went to plan. So I was I was very I was very pleased with how things were going, like how things went. Yeah, definitely. It was a yeah. successful weekend. Yeah, definitely. Credit, credit to Susanna and Richard Poxon yeah. and all the team up there that, that put it together because it, it was a successful weekend. Well, ladies, yeah. thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for reliving Friday night and giving me your experiences. Um, yeah. Hopefully there'll be many more Friday nights to come in the future. Um, yeah, if not in Sheffield, you. then thank you. wherever they land. But congratulations. You were both phenomenal, as was Lauren, as was Sheldon. Yeah. Um and the whole show, the whole show was uh, was fantastic. So well done. Um, congratulations and enjoy Christmas. And uh, we'll see you in the new year, no doubt. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers, you. ladies. Good luck. See you later. Take care. See you.